So today I want to show you my uh, revised um, emergency battery box. Now they are also called solar inverters, um, although I don't have any solar um, charge controller in here, so this cannot be charged by solar right now. Um, this is a uh, battery backup in case um, something like a hurricane or that comes along. At least you have a source of power to power things like laptops, TVs. Um, for a reasonable uh, period of time. Um, I have a 1.6 kilowatt battery in the um, in this box um, along with an inverter, some USBs um, and uh, this really should uh, give us some um, power for laptops, TVs, that kind of stuff for probably three days um, um, using TVs and that. Obviously we could charge cell phones for months with this thing but um, if we're if we're running laptops and TVs, you know, there's probably three days worth of power in here, and uh, so I'm going to give you a quick overview of how I built it and uh, what it takes. Um, first, just a quick exterior tour. You can see over here. Well, let me spin this around here. You can see over here, I have a hard battery cutoff. Um, this is a uh, sort of an automotive style battery cutoff and I use it to disconnect the main battery from the uh, pack but I'll take it from lockout mode and turn it on and now the battery is uh, live you can see the monitor comes up and telling me how much uh, how much uh, 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 life I have left in the battery um, these are uh, 110 volt power plugs. Uh, you can see the LED is on, these are live, and uh, these three USBs are live right now. Um, I have extra, I have some extra stuff, and we'll go through that in a second, but just to show you that this works, he has a, uh, there is a heat gun. Heat guns draw a ton of power. Um, but we'll throw it on here. Running no problem. Let me zoom in and see if you can see the the display here. Uh, pulling nearly 800 watts right now um, from the display. Okay, so uh, uh, like I said, we got three USBs here, and uh, we got the. Um, 110 volt plugs here. Um, now it is, um, you do draw a small amount of power powering these through the inverter. Uh, the display says it's currently pulling five watts at idle right now. So I have an additional USB here on the front, which I can power separately. If I only want to power a USB and not turn on the main inverter, I can power this up separately with uh, this switch right here. Now these are live. You can see the LEDs turned on. These are live. Um, and then one more thing. I have a fan right here to uh, cool the battery box. I don't know if you can hear but there's the fan right there pulling, uh, blowing air through the box and the vent holes are on the side here and I can feel the air through. Um, turn those off. So uh, let's open it up and give you a quick tour of what we have in here. So what do we have? The battery is underneath and I will uh, insert some video of what the battery looks like uh, at the end of the video. But it's 196 uh, 18650 cells wired up in a 7S configuration, 1.6 kilowatts. Um, and uh, that comes through here. Turn everything off for a second. That's the inverter shutting down. Um, so here's your main XT60 connector coming out from underneath with the battery and here's a charge lead for balancing the pack separately with a um, external charger and balancer. But just plug on your XT60 and uh, we go from there, so here the main power wire goes through that battery cutoff that I mentioned earlier. So turn it on and on and everything and now the circuits are all powered. So this is an automotive style um, 
battery cutoff switch which I use just to turn on the main box and it's uh, rated for 100 amps so it can take the uh, the amperage of the system the um, I don't know if you can see it the black power wire runs through this shunt over here this shunt measures the draw from the pack and feeds that meter on the front here so that's how the meter knows how much energy we're drawing because all current runs through this shunt board over here um, after the power leaves the um, leaves the battery cut off it runs into my sine wave inverter this sine wave inverter is a pure sine wave inverter rated at 500 watts but can do up to a thousand watts you saw it, it was running the heat gun at 700 watts without a problem uh, these are excellent um, uh, inverters um, a little pricey I think this one's maybe hundred and fifty dollars um, but um, very good uh, pure sine wave and um, really can can push more than 500 watts that it's rated for and then what I have right here I just instead of rewiring this I actually just plugged a plug right into its outlet and that feeds to this box um, and this box has the two 110 volt plugs and the USBs this is actually intended to be mounted into sort of a desk if you want some power plugs on your desk and a couple USBs it's intended for you to sync this into like your office desk um, um, and it's a self-contained unit and it's excellent I just plug it right into the inverter and now I have 110s here and um, my U and these USBs right here um, now my battery is 24 volts um, and it's actually 29 volts fully charged this sine uh, wave inverter you can see is it marked at 24 volts so it doesn't care um, that the battery is 24 volts or 29 volts it doesn't care about that it's made for that voltage however things like these front USB plugs that I have over here they are really intended for 12 volts and the fan on the side is intended for 12 volts so I really need a source of 12 volts um, in the battery box so that's what this is this is a uh, small step down transformer that transforms 24 volts down to 12 volts so um, I tap um, I tap 24 volts off the main power line here run it into these are these are little um, using these as little distribution blocks and then um, basically I'm sending the 24 volts into this and taking 12 volts out that 12 volts runs around through actually through the switch runs around and powers the front USBs um, so I have USB power on the front which I can if I can turn off the main inverter and still have the 24 volts I mean still have the, the USB out the front um, if I want it I can still turn on the, the, the uh, front USB and the 12 volt circuit and still have USB power at the front um, and then um, I also taken off the 24 volts I mean sorry off the 12 volt inverter I also have it running through the second switch to using these two little wires here running to the fan mounted underneath here and maybe we can see the fan you can just maybe make out that there's a there's a fan down there um, maybe you can see now there's a there's a fan down there um, 12 volt uh, computer fan down there and that uh, blows uh, blows air into the box through the batteries and then through various vent holes on the left hand side here just to help keep things cool and, and um, yeah, just provide a source of air when the box is closed up a lot um, but uh, yeah this is um, 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 I'm quite happy with this design I've built a few others and um, I've, I've stepped the battery size up um, I had some smaller batteries 120 cell batteries this is 196 cell batteries um, I'm trying to um, keep it you know get a size that I can actually use and, and power some real things like TVs and laptops for you know multiple days and um, I think one 1 1.6 kilowatts is uh, plenty and I do actually have my previous battery um, let me grab it here 
here is the previous battery I built. This is the one that's about 120 cells. And so, and it's also a 24 volt configuration. So um, anytime I want to, I can, you know, if this battery runs down, I can actually switch in my second battery and power the circuit. Hell, I could even wire in a parallel circuit and, and, and power the battery box um, from, with both batteries. But this, uh, the battery box just uh, provides a little bit of um, ease of mind, um, especially since I live in hurricane territory. If we lose power for three, four days, we will have a, a source of power to keep us going for a while. So this is my battery pack. It's a 196 cells. It's 14 by 14. Um, you can see 14 there. Samsung cells, 2.2 amp hours each cell. Um, using a uh, balancer and, and uh, protection board over here rated at 45 amps. Um, you can see how I have individually fused each and every cell. Um, they've been soldered to copper bus bars and then individually fused in case any cell decides to uh, run away. It'll burn itself right off the um, through the fuse wire. Have balance leads here and then here's your main XT60 uh, power connector to uh, power the, bar bar uh, the battery box.